Galnet News Update, 15th of April 3308. He was allegedly the Pirate King, Calico Zack. Already absurdly wealthy, he won the Federal Grand Lottery. He paid for the first shipyards in Colonia. He funded the Dura Drive and created the restaurant at the top of the galaxy, Rackham's Peak. His organisation, Rackham Capital Investments, was nearly taken over by a rival pirate gang. He is a mover and a shaker in federal society. And now, Zachary Rackham has ruled out running for president against his namesake, Zachary Hudson, in the federal elections next year. Joking about the Hudson contravention, which could see Hudson standing for a third term, Rackham modestly suggested that if he did choose to stand, and of course nothing could be further from his mind, he might get some votes from confused voters selecting the wrong Zachary. There's no doubt that Rackham, famous for his dodgy financial dealings, his inventive use of social media and his you're fired catchphrase would be popular among Republican voters. And were he to stand, which of course he will not, it might shake up the two-horse race between Hudson and his Liberal Party opponent, Felicia Winters. Asked to choose between a businessman like Hudson and a left-wing do-gooder like Winters, the voters are likely to stick with the president they're used to. But given the choice to elect someone they recognise from Hollywood broadcasts, someone from outside politics, someone who can shake up Olympus Village, drain the political swamp and lock up his opponents, the voters might just decide that Hudson's had long enough as president and switch to Rackham, who is very definitely not standing as a candidate. Not Rackham? Nope. 